Hello, uh, yours truly, back with another math video, yeah? Okay, so, um, I hope everyone had a wonderful day, and I hope my love, Christ Jesus, uh, is always with you, uh, in everything that you do, and, yeah, so, in this video, we're going to discuss domain and range of composition of functions. So, domain, ah, uh, just the domain. Okay, um, range is often best done uh, through a graph, right? So, you know, uh, I'll share future videos on range, but let's keep it to domain. So, domain of composite functions, right? Okay. And, um, so composition is a binary operation. It's like addition and multiplication and so on. Only like, you know, uh, it's for functions, right? Whereas addition and multiplication makes sense both for numbers and functions. But composition makes sense for um, functions. But it's a binary operation, meaning a way to combine two functions and create more interesting functions, right? Okay. So this is the so-called fog, F-O-G of X, and this is one denotion, but a clearer denotion is to write it like this, wherein it's pretty clear that we've plugged in a function named G of X into the function um, F of X, right? Okay, cool. So uh, to illustrate uh, this point, let's consider the following two functions. So let's consider F of X equals um, let's say like uh, x over um, x minus 4 or it can even be x squared over x minus 4 it will uh, do just fine to demonstrate what I'm trying to demonstrate and g of x let's say is 1 over x yeah yes we can you know come up with more exotic functions as our examples but I want to keep it focused uh, to the idea and therefore I'll um, use these perhaps less interesting functions than, you know, whatever you'd have. Okay, okay, okay. So, uh, what we want to know is the domain of f of g of x. And so, this is the task at hand, right? And, um, okay, this is how you go about finding the domain of composite functions. First, although I've said this in, in the past, uh, composition is not commutative. So f of g of x is not equal to g of f of x. There are instances when they're equal. Uh, for example, if f and g are inverses. But as a general rule, composition is not commutative, right? OK. So for finding the domain of composite functions, what you must do is, number one, find the domain of the inner function. In this case, domain of g of x. So in our case, i.e. domain of g of x equals 1 over x. And we know the domain of g of x uh, equaling 1 over x is all real x not equal to 0. So all real values of x not equal to 0. That's the domain of g of x. And then, to answer, you know, the question, finding the domain of the composite function here, number one, right? Number two, so and then, what you got to do is find domain of f of g of x and put them together, couple with one. So, we need to first find uh, f of g of x in this case, right? I've already, um, you know, spelled out the task, so let's find f of g of x. So f of g of x in this case would be plugging in 1 over x into f of x, right? So let me do that this way. Um, right? So, well, okay, well... 
fine, sorry. And let me actually keep this function simple again, uh, the function f of x, so that it's about the um, idea, not, yeah. Okay, so f of g of x, oh sorry, I'll just write 1. So f of g of x, in this case, would be 1 over, so in place of this x, we're going to put in g of x, which is 1 over x. So 1 over x, and then minus 4, right? Okay. So I'm done with the red marker. So then, maybe not. Sorry, one sec. So then what we have to do is x over x here, right? Wherein we see that this is the same as, f of g of x is the same as 1 over, ah, sorry guys, 1 over, and then it's 1 minus 4x over x, but then that means now f of g of x is equal to Keep flip change, so x over 1 minus 4x. So the domain of f of g of x is, well, we need to exclude anything that make the denominator 0. So um, uh, domain of f of g of x would be all real x not equal to, what would make the denominator 0? A quarter, right? Because if we plug in a quarter in here, we get 1 minus 1, so 0. Not equal to 1 fourth. So to answer the question of domain of f of g of x here, ah, I got rid of that bit, but whatever, whatever, we'll live, we'll live, we'll live. Okay, so domain of, to answer domain of f of g of x, we put one and two together, so it'll be all real x not equal to from 1, we'd excluded 0, because g of x doesn't allow 0. And then in the, compos in, in the composition, in the composite, we're not allowed a quarter. So all real x not equal to 0 or a quarter is how we answer this question. Yeah? As you saw, I had had like f being like a more interesting function, and you know, there's more algebra to do when we get to um, this part, right? And so that's all that would have changed, and I wanted to keep this focused to uh, the idea I'm trying to communicate. Yeah? Okay, cool. Hope you enjoyed this. Take care.